Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to try and fundamentally explain the differences between Udemy and Skillshare, specifically for potential students out there who are considering spending some money on e-learning platforms uh, such as these two. So um, on Udemy and Skillshare, you can find courses which are primarily consisting of video content for all kinds of different topics out there, uh, kind of similar on both uh, software development, business tools, uh, IT certification courses. Now, they don't guarantee you a certification, but they're videos to help train you to take the tests. Uh, and then art and marketing uh, office tools like Microsoft Word and all other kinds of things that can easily be taught with uh, computer video. Not, now, not everything is going to be um, kind of a screencast like I like to do. You can see you got people over here who like to actually have uh, the talking head using, you know, real video cameras and all of that. Uh, but in terms of the differences between these two platforms, it comes down to not so much the content, but more how uh, content is priced on these sites. So the models are completely different. On Udemy, uh, you have free courses and paid courses. Uh, obviously, the free courses are mostly to get a uh, mailing list subscription so that they can market to you later on. Um, but the paid courses or you pay once, Udemy takes a cut, and then uh, the rest goes uh, to the author. So you actually buy the courses straight up, kind of like you went to the store and you bought a piece of software, bought a book, it's much uh, like that. Um, whereas on Skillshare, you're instead buying uh, access to all the courses they have on their site. So when an author on Skillshare sets one of their courses to premium, only premium subscription users are able to view it, and uh, then the teacher makes a small percentage of the revenue. Uh, basically, I think it's paid per minute. Um, but you, as the user, as the student, pay a monthly fee. You can see it's uh, $12 per month or $8 billed annually, which is a pretty sweet uh, discount. So if you compare that to Udemy courses, uh, I think Udemy with their latest pricing is always 20 to $50. Oh, okay, apparently it can actually be higher than that uh, as seen here with this demo script, but uh, recommended 20 to 50. Um, so you pay what for one, two, three courses, it adds up to about $60. And then you have permanent forever access to those courses. Whereas in Skillshare, uh, you might pay, well, let's say 90 to $6 for a year. And then you have access to as many courses as you want to learn from on that site. So in terms of uh, pricing, if you're going to go through a tremendous amount of, of content, Skillshare actually makes a lot of sense because if you're listening to even one course every two months and you have a one year subscription, then kind of you're paying like eight, $16. I mean, it depends on how many courses you are actually watch. But like one course every two months at annual billing would be $16 per course. Um, on Udemy, that would be $20 plus per paid course. Um, now it's definitely worth mentioning, Udemy often has sales all the time, uh, getting courses for $10 or 50% off or that kind of thing. Um, so in, in a lot of ways, it doesn't always even make sense to buy them at the free pricing. You can actually look for coupons and that kind of thing. Um, so uh, you, you might actually get a nice discount on those courses. But just looking at the pricing standpoint, it does make a lot of sense to me. If you are a student and you're serious about online learning um, and you like the kind of content you see on Skillshare, if you go out and browse their site, then you're going to get the most value out of a subscription-based uh, e-learning platform. But if you're only interested in very specific ones, um, like, like a very specific course like uh, for instance, my Unity 5.6 course on 2D game development, and you don't really care about the other stuff that happens to be on the site, like uh, this SEO stuff or photography, then it might make sense to do a one-off Udemy purchase. Um, so yeah, I hope that gives you a good comparison of the two sites there. Uh, a couple of other things I'll mention before I kind of wrap things up on, on Skillshare. You can't really write individual video descriptions, so... Um, in terms of written content, Udemy courses may be a little bit more fleshed out at the moment. Um, but yeah, as far as videos go, it's it's more or less the same thing. It's like uh, kind of watching a YouTube video, except it's 
very targeted information and they create a whole course for it rather than just one-off videos like this one. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's probably gives you guys enough information. If you need more, uh, leave me a comment and uh, maybe I'll get to making a follow-up video. But aside from that, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you guys out in figuring out which e-learning platform you want to use. So until then, I'll see you guys later.